Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, welcome to ad hoc tutorials video channel. In this ad hoc tutorial, I will show you how to create uh, the SFTP user with ch root option uh, in CentOS. Uh, ch root is needed to replace the actual root folder with another one. Uh, so first, we will create a single SFTP user with ch root folder defined as web sources folder in web server. And secondly, I'll show how to create a separate SFTP group uh, with the corresponding users uh, uh, with their home folders uh, defined as ch root folder. Uh, you may check the original article uh, in my website at hoctutes.com. So here it is. Uh, so let's start. Uh, in the first scenario, we will create uh, the separate SFTP users for web sources uh, folder as a ch root. Uh, so here is my web server uh, in this IP address. Uh, my web sources folder is located here. So first uh, we need to install these utils. So uh, this will install the SSH server if needed, also the nano text editor. Uh, next, we need to create the corresponding user and define password for this user. Uh, we will define the group of a user as Apache. So I'll set the, I'll set the password as one, two, three, four, six, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now that the user is created, uh, now we need to edit the sshd config file. So this uh, configuration file holds the settings for SSH service. So let's open it and make the necessary configurations. So what we need here So now uh, we'll add the following lines at the end of sshd configuration file. Uh, so he will need uh, to define the subsystem sftp internal sftp, this line. Also we will create uh, the option for the user sftp www. Here we define the chroot directory, which is the uh, web sources folder. And uh, here uh, we define the default uh, umask. Uh, umask uh, uh, is needed to define the numerical permissions, default numerical permissions for the directories and files. So you may read uh, more about numerical permissions in this link. Uh, basically, uh, umask uh, is uh, like uh, to find the numerical permission for directories, we need to subtract umask from 777. For the files, uh, we subtract the umask from 666. So uh, let's, uh, we need to create, if we need to create, for example, like 777 uh, permission, uh, which is full permission, we need to set the umask of 000. Uh, in our case, uh, I'll set the default umask uh, 002, uh, which is the equivalent of 775. So let's copy these lines, add them here. Uh, one important uh, thing, uh, it is required to have only one line uh, with the subsystem uh, definition. So I'll comment the, uh, this line and leave this one. So let's save the file, Control O, Enter, Control X. Next, uh, now that uh, we have made the configurations, uh, we need to restart the SSH service. We may do this uh, using this or this command. So let's restart the SSH service. Uh, one important thing, uh, 
Uh, every element in the ch root directory path uh, needs to be owned by root. This is important, otherwise uh, it won't work uh, properly. Additionally, you may set the executable permission for the each element in the path if needed. Uh, so uh, let's check uh, if our SFTP ch root user is working. So I'll open the FTP client. Uh, here is my IP address of the web server. This is the user. The password is one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's connect to it. So as you can see, uh, here is my web sources folder. So it's uh, shown as root folder for me. So here it is. Also, let's check if our default U mask option is working. So if I go here and create a new file, let's name it test, refresh. So if we check for the permissions, as you can see it's 664. So the, this is the equivalent of U mask of 002. Also, let's create a test directory. So as you can see, uh, its numerical permission is 775, which is the equivalent of 002 for UMask. So let's close it. So as you can see, our SFTP SCH root is working. Let's go to the next scenario. So here uh, we will create uh, the separate group named SFTP users and we'll add uh, a single user to this group with the name sftp user and define its home folder uh, as a ch root uh, also we will define it dynamically so first uh, let's run these comments uh, here we were here, here we will create the group we will add a user to it with with the name sftp user so uh, we'll create two directories in the user's home folder. So as I mentioned previously, uh, all the elements in the ch root directory path needs to be owned by root. So I'll change the home folder of the user to be owned by root and uh, give it proper permissions. And I'll change all the uh, folders within the home folder uh, to be owned by the user and define password for the newly created user. So let's run these comments. So I'll set the password again one, two, three, four, five, six. So the user is created. Uh, next, uh, we will uh, need to add the necessary configuration lines to the sshd config file so let's open the file in the editor so here is the line i have previously added let's copy the new lines uh, also here uh, in this rule uh, we refer to the group element and additionally, in the ch directory path, this percent %u element refers to the actual username and it's the dynamic part of the full path. So here I'll set the default u mask to 077, which is equivalent for the numerical permission 700. So this means that uh, any files and directories created by the user uh, will be owned uh, only by the user itself. So let's save the file, Ctrl O, enter Ctrl X. So let's restart the SSH service. Now let's check the SFTP user using FTP client. So now I will connect using SFTP user. Password is the one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's connect. And ta-da, here it is. 
So here, as you can see, the root folder uh, is mapped to my home folder. So this is the documents and pictures folders I have created previously. So let's create some file here. Let's check the for the permissions. So as you can see, 600. Also, let's create this folder. So as you can see, 700 as defined by the UMask option. Well, great. Uh, now, if you want to delete the created user, you may use this command. Well, uh, that's the end of the tutorial. I hope this was useful for you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.